Hi, in this video, we're going to walk through on how to perform a Pokemon trade on an Ammonic 35XX Plus in Pokemon Fire Raid using emulators on a PC. I'm making this tutorial because I couldn't find a good answer online. Um, all the results I found involves you know, needing to extract and convert the save files because the 35XX Plus runs RetroArch, which have a save file format that other emulators cannot recognize. So you end up needing to do a conversion to either .sav or some other formats before you know converting back to SRM, which Brito Arch is using. So what do you need to do this? You need a 35xx plus, of course, uh, and I only have a 35xx plus, so I can't guarantee if it works on other devices. Micro SD to SD converter. Uh, it's optional since some card readers can read both uh, full size and micro SD. Mine only does full size, so that's why this is here. Then you need an SD card reader. Uh, you need a PC with ButcherBox installed. It probably works on others like uh, VMware or QEMU, but uh, your mileage may vary. Then in ButcherBox, you need to have uh, Kubuntu installed. In my case, I have 2204 in here, but others should work well as well. But others should work as well. Then in VirtualBox, you need to have uh, Kubuntu installed. You can have others, but uh, I have 2204. Others should work well as well. One last thing you will need is MGBA, which you can download in the Kubuntu virtual machine. Don't worry, links to all the software that I can link to are in the description down below. All right, let's get started. All of this is loosely following this guide from Cubicle Nate, uh, so credit where credit is due. So I'll explain what we're working with. So this is my save. See here, I did it once on my Kedabra, you know, trading and evolving it to Alakazam. So I have another one, Graveler here, that I think we are ready to evolve into Golem, right? So let's turn this off. Now this step is optional, but I'm doing it because I want the backup of my safe house to be present on my PC instead of being stuck in the virtual machine. So select your Kubuntu virtual machine, go to settings, shared folders, and in this case I've already added the, the, the folders on my uh, PC itself, but you can do the same just by going to this, select the folder that you want to add okay so for example i'm just gonna add documents okay click on auto mount and then click ok and it should appear as an, uh, one entry in here next you need to find out where your save file is stored so in my case it's in the sd card where i store my roms but yours might differ since some of you might be on stock os some might be on you know garlic and so on for me i'm on this modified stock firmware by tom duhamel uh, hopefully I'm not pronouncing it wrong. So my save file is on a second SD card. Then let's come back to VirtualBox and let's launch our Kubuntu virtual machine. You can do the same by just double clicking on uh, the Kubuntu uh, virtual machine and it should bring the virtual machine up. In my case, it's already up. Okay, so go down here, right click on this USB uh, icon. Okay, and select your SD card reader. In my case, it's, the, uh, it's this fan disk. Okay, so if you see it uh, already checked, then it means this is being done correctly, right? So this is done so that it will pass through the SD card into Kubuntu so that it's as if it's directly plugged into the virtual machine instead of your PC. So that's how the virtual machine can directly operate on it. Plug in your SD card containing the save files into the SD card reader and it should pop up, okay? So it pops up and if I go to uh, Dolphin, which is the file explorer, the same thing as Explorer in Windows, you can go to TF2 and in my case it's save RA, save GBA and this is my save file. Okay, I'm gonna put it aside. Now we need to navigate to where our save file is stored. So in my case it is temp file that we uh, shared in the virtual machine just now which is here the temp file right so you can open up 
and in here I created two folders. So one is GBA original, which is where we will store our backup, and GBA source. This is where uh, the the trade target will be in at. And if you notice here, we have a, uh, a copy of the uh, ROM here. So this has to match the version that your uh, Ambonic 35 access, access uh, is using. So make sure of that. Let's put it aside. What we're gonna do is let's copy into the backup folder as well as to the source folder okay so this is so that if this one if anything goes wrong with the, with the source folder we still have the original backup and also if you're like me uh, i don't have friends that are playing this so i will have to trip with myself so that's where this comes along now i've already mentioned this this is what the mgba is going to load so let's go get mgba so for MGBA, you can just Google. You can directly do this in the Firefox from the command to virtual machine. So just look for MGBA downloads. Okay. Then for downloads, select Ubuntu and with the version that you are using. For in my case again, I'm 2204, so I'm gonna download this one. I already downloaded this, so let me go to my downloads folder. And it's already there once here you need to extract this you do do you do the extract yeah extract here okay and in here you will find three uh three files dot deb is basically the the, the dot exe in windows so don't be don't worry about that so we will right click open terminal okay so what we're going to do is sudo app install dot slash all okay in the password so in my case it's already installed but in your case it might not be so uh, so in my case it's already installed so that's why uh, it's, uh, it's showing this way but for you it should just run all the way through uh, without any issues Once you got this done, okay, you should be able to just go to the start folder and type MGBA and it should show up. Okay, let's run. Okay, so we will have, since we are going to be doing trading, so we will need two instances of this. All right, the first instance is the one in. Here. And the second instance is the one that we just backed up. Okay, so it's source. It's this one. So we're gonna trade between the one the, the uh, so we're gonna trade between the SD card and the backup. I mean, so the, the, the source. Don't do it against the backup because that's our you know golden copy. All right. So over here load ROM and pick the GBA for fire rate that we make sure that this has to be the same as the one in your 35xx plus open and we go to file save games load alternate save games okay for this one we will have to point it to our SD card so you notice here that nothing's coming up. So this is the problem with you know doing it on Windows. It will just never be able to recognize uh, the RetroArch save files. So what you need to do is click on this here, and it will show up. Okay, click this and load. Then we will have to new do a new multiplayer window. So this will rep represent the source. Let's do the same. Load ROM. I think it's media, yes, then temp. Okay, then again, we have to load this alternate save games, which in this case is GBA source. Again, cross this out so that the retro arch save files appear. Open. Okay, one thing is in MGBA, so 
uh, X is basically your A button and Z is your B button. So, and we have to control each one individually, which, depending on which one is in focus. So if you see, I'm loading this, the, card, the state file that I just now shown on the device itself. So I'm going to load. Okay, and just to show, okay, this is exactly what I showed on devices now. So let's exit. Okay, so then this version that we copied out should have the exact same. Well, it should be as the exact same copy as you know this one. So let's go in. So, yeah, we are at the same place. Okay, so what we need to do at this point, basically, this is the same as any other trade. You know, you know, even if it's using the actual device itself. So what you do? Go to here. Trade center. Save game. Yes. Okay, at the same time, let's do it on the SD card emulator. SD card side of things. So if you see, it's waiting for us. Again, trade center, save game. Again, this is our local copy and this is the SD card copy. Okay, confirm, confirm. Okay, so in here, let's go to the local copy. And do the same. Okay, so now it, things look very funny because both are showing the same names and everything. So, but that's not not a problem. So let's go to Graveler. Let's say, hey, this is the Graveler that we want to trade. So let's trade. Okay, standby. Let's go to the SD card Graveler summary. Yep. Great. Okay. Click yes. Click yes. And everything should go. Yep, there, there you go, it's evolving. There you go, Golem. Let's cut off the notification. Yeah, saving is important. Okay. So, yes. And over to the local copy. Cancel, yes. And we have to add it. Copy at this point. So let's check out the SD card copy Pokemon. There you go, Golem. Over here, we, we could check it out, but it's not really that important. But yep, there you go, Golem. All right, and 
So in this case, what we can do is just close it down. Exit. Exit. Okay. So now it's very important that you do right click, safely remove. Okay. Once this shows up, you can unplug the SD card. So let's keep it a go. So again, the SD card that you have safely removed. Okay. Plug it in. Our device. So let's go to Pokemon Red. Okay, so let's look. It's the Pokedex 33, so that's a good sign. Okay, so let's check it out. Pokemon. There you go, Golem. So the trade is working and everything is a go. Alright, so thanks for watching this little tutorial. This is not the usual kind of stuff uh, that this channel would produce, but well, oh well. See you all next time. Yeah.